Hey guys, it's Fraser here with A-Spec Airsoft, and today I'll be bringing you a review of the JGAS-74U, which is their AK-74U. It's a very, very nice gun. It is all metal and all wood with a little bit of plastic, and it is even blowback. So, let's get on to the review. So, you take the very nice looking box top off, and inside there is A-Spec Airsoft warranty, 30 days, if you have questions, call the number. A-Spec Aerosoft Chrono and Inspection Sheet, 440-450 with .2s, and it was tested and inspected by Adam. And an A-74U Series Manual, it's from JG, it's full of Chinglish and pictures, and it even comes with some shooting targets. Yay! And once again, JG has done this! Woo! This is very nice styrofoam packaging, it's black, keeps the gun very safe and secure. All the parts have their own specific little slots. There's one right here for the mag winder, one right here for the forward side adjustment tool. It's very, very nice packaging, keeps everything safe and secure. Now we got the paperwork out of the way, this is what it should look like inside. Inside there is a pack of 200.2 6mm BBs, but as always, use TSD. A magazine winding tool, a front sight post adjustment tool, a very nice black flash hider to replace the really big orange one that's on there, but it will avoid your warranty. A JG Works 1100 mAh 8.4 volt nimical hydrate stick battery with mini type connector. A trickle charger. We recommend you don't use this and go buy a smart charger off of aspecairsoft.com. A 500 round high cap plastic magazine and your JG AK 74U. Now let's talk a little bit about the history of the AK-74U. JG AK-S-74U is based off of the AKS-74U, which is a variant of the AK-74, which was developed in 1974 by Mikhail Kalashnikov. In 1979, the AKS-74U was introduced into service with the Red Army and bridges the gap between submachine gun and assault rifle. It was intended for use mainly with Special Forces airborne entry, rear, rear support units, and armored vehicle crews similar to a PDW. The dimensions of the gun were achieved by using a short 8.3 inch barrel which effectively reduced the muzzle velocity to a mere 735 meters per second as opposed to the AKS-74 muzzle velocity which was 900 meters per second. It has a different sighting system than the AK-74 using a U-shaped flip-up sight. The sight has two settings, one calibrated for 350 meters and the other one used for 400 to 500 millimeters, but I really don't know why you'd be shooting at anybody with this small of a weapon from 400 meters. Now we're done with that, let's talk about the features of the 74U. This gun includes a blowback system. It's very nice. It is attached to the piston, so it may cause a bit of wear to it, but it still looks really cool, and we will show you what it looks like right now. The stock on this gun is very nice, it's very solid, it's made of metal, the uh, butt plate is ribbed, and guess who's back? Guess who's back? Visiting you from the happy land of the People's Republic of China, it's Ping Sling Man! <laughs> Listen to Ping. It goes ping, ping, ping. The stock on this weapon also folds. What you do is you take this button right here, and push it, the stock will fold over, and you can clamp it into place right there. In order to unfold the stock, take the catch, push it towards the rear of the gun, there's the stock, you pull it right back out, it's very solid, same as it was before, including pain, who was attached to the stock. Is this gun lap already? This gun also has a side rail mount. You can buy side rail mounts off of our website and attach them on here. And you can put scopes or lasers or flashlights or whatever on there to make your gun suit your needs, whether you're using it for field or CQB. The iron sights on this weapon are labeled similar to the real weapon. On the real weapon, this is the one that is calibrated for 350 meters. It has the Russian U character on there. And the other one is four to 500 meters as on the real AK-74, but as you can see they are flip-up and 
They are just about identical, but they are very nice and they are labeled. Now let's talk about the metal, wood, and plastic components to this weapon. The humongous flash shatter right here is plastic, the magazine is made of plastic, and the pistol grip is made of plastic. But just about everything else on this gun is metal, with the exception of the front hand grip. This is made of wood, it's very very smooth and very sleek, uh, looks very very nice. But just about everything else on this gun is made of metal. The front and rear sights are made of metal, the bolt is made of metal. The upper and lower receivers are made of metal. The fire selector switch is metal. The trigger guard is metal. The trigger is metal. The mag release is metal. The stock is metal. The butt plate is metal. Ping is made of metal. And the stock catch is made of metal. Now over to Delta One for the internal reports. Thank you, Freezer. Now for the internal reports. This JG AK is different from all other AKs. The reason being is because JG's really stepped it up and put in a nice motor, which is a clone of the Token Rui EG22000 motor. And what's so great about it is they put ball bearings in it so it allows the motor to spin at a higher RPM. As always, it's a short type and all that good stuff. Now, moving on to the ball bearings and bushings. If you want to see more further information on that, go to the link right above my head, right here, for the internal reports further in depth on this weapon. Now, it does have ball bearings and bushings, so if you want to check that out in further detail, click on the link above my head. Now, it does have a polycar piston, which is special because it's a blowback and the piston is special. It's different from regular pistons. If you want to see more information, again, go click on the link above my head. Now, it is very, very good. I love the compression that JG's gotten into their guns. Very nice compression. I just love their compression. It's been a big step up from what they used to be. 300 millimeter inner barrel that's a tight bore, which is ridiculous because it's coming with a tight bore as a JG. That pretty much covers it. And another thing, you cannot put 9.6 stick types in here for the blowback because the blowback system needs room to go back and forth where the 9.6 would take up that space. So, thank you, Freezer. Back to you. Thank you, Delta One, for the internal reports. Now for the final conclusion. This is a very, very nice weapon. It's made of all wood and all metal. I'm not sure exactly what kind of type of wood this is, but it kind of looks like cherry. Um, the flash hider is plastic and kind of ugly, but you can replace it with the black one that your gun comes with. Um, the side rail mount that it has increases the custom customization ability, I made that word up, of this gun. So it's very nice. The iron sights are good. The blowback system is very nice, the bolt is metal, and our friend Ping is back, so it's very nice, very loud, very intimidating and scary. The folding stock makes it good for a CQB, even though the gun is shooting a little hot. You could always go out and buy a lower power spring than the M120 that is inside. And so yeah, I'd say this is a great gun. You can get this for $155 off of aspecairsoft.com, and you can find the link in the sidebar, which is right there. Or if you're watching the widescreen, it will be down here. So yeah, this is a Spec Airsoft review of the JG AKS 74U. Thanks for watching.